Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. Uh, let me share my screen. So today we're going to talk about uh, upload to cloud providers, and I will show you how you can implement upload to a new kind of service, the one that's not supported in uh, ASPRANER.net. So what about uh, Cloudflare? What is this? So this is the service uh, that many websites use as a front end. It caches uh, images, CSS files, and JavaScripts, and uses uh, CDN to distribute those static assets across the world so your websites load faster. So Cloudflare, uh, if you have a Cloudflare account, uh, there is an images link on the left and it's a paid service. They don't have a free trial or anything, but it is inexpensive. Uh, the cheapest plan is like $5 a month and they work with images only. Uh, why is that? As far as I understand, they do not want to compete with all those other cloud providers uh, like Google Drive or Dropbox. Uh, but they do it for images only because this is a part of their business working with uh, uh, images and other static objects like this. But what they what else they do uh, when upload the image to their service, they also can do things like optimize images automatically. If someone uploads image that is a uh, takes lots of space, they can optimize it without. Uh, losing the size, like, uh, or they can resize and create multiple versions of your file. And if you need to serve like 32 by 32 or 64 by 64 or any kind of uh, size, they will do it automatically on their side. So you can see it says, uh, I like by default, we just upload the image and display it in our application. We don't do anything else. But if you work with images a lot, it's probably a good idea to check their service. Okay. So they have an API and it's uh, fairly straightforward compared to many others. This is why we selected it to uh, use it instead of uh, for instance, Azure, because it's much more complicated. So what we do here is we just perform a post request to upload an image. First of all, we authenticate uh, list images. Uh, yeah, that, that's what we use. First of all, we authenticate uh, using our API key. I need to remember to remove my API key when I upload the project to Dev Club uh, members area. And we get the URL for direct upload and then we upload it using JavaScript. So this image that we upload never touches our servers. We upload it directly from JavaScript to Cloudflare. So we bypass our server completely. Let me show how it works. It's nothing special because all the code is in there. It's just the idea of what it takes to implement a new provider if for any reason you need to do that. So this is how it works in the application. Cloudflare is a table with one image. Let me add a new one. Let me... It is a, some sort of a screenshot. What uh, one of our customers uploaded. Okay, I click save and i go back to list so that's our image and if we click here we can see it's some sort of a screenshot taken in uh, php runner and if you go back here to cloudflare account and go to images we can see that our image is here it was uploaded a few seconds ago and this is our image. So let me show you what else can be done here with the upload. Uh, let's go to events. 
and see. So on the edit page, we don't do much. After the record was updated, if we replace the image, we upload the new image. So we just perform a post. Actually, it's delete request. And URL is coming from uh, Cloudfresh authentication. That's our Cloudfresh account ID. And we just grab this URL and use a uh, built in HTTP request object that is a part, it's a part of our PHP render API. But you can use any curl uh, code in PHP. You can use a uh, what is the uh, rest sharp in asperander.net to execute the same kind of request and same thing about uh, when we add the record it's uh, slightly different we because we add the new record using uh, javascript and that's a part of the core uh, php runner code what what we change here uh, let me show you so after application initialized event, uh, the one that is uh, executed on every single page load, correct? And uh, if a uh, script name, if we make a request to MF handler and for our table, which is Cloudflare, what we do here, we post a request, uh, direct upload, Cloudflare, and as a result, we are getting back the URL for the direct upload. And then we wrap it and we send it back to our JavaScript. So there is a, like, it's integrated into the core PHP runner code in a way that uh, when we make a request to MF handler, we expect back, uh, a URL for a direct upload. That's how most of uh, cloud providers work, like uh, AWS or Google Drive. First, you authenticate right here, and you tell them that we need to get a URL for the direct upload, and this is what we get here. Let me show you what's uh, in the documentation. This is the kind of post that we perform and it shows a sample curl request we pass our api code and we get back uh, two things id of the image and upload url and we pass this upload url uh, back to our javascript that is a part of the core php runner esperan.net code and then JavaScript uh, performs the upload. And what we do here, we also just uh, save that ID of the image and uh, file name in the database. So we know how to retrieve it. And the second part uh, is help us to retrieve it. So let me show you what is saved in the database, okay? So that's our Cloudflare table and data right here. You can see that's our image ID and the file name. This is the ID we received as a response of our get direct upload URL post and we save it in the database. And based on this ID, we can retrieve our image. How we do this? You do not want to store direct URLs to your files because you want to make sure that if your application is uh, password protected, you do not want anyone to know uh, direct URLs of files on the server. You want to uh, only allow access through your application. That's the idea. So let me explain. The idea of it is that's the image, right? We right click on it, we choose inspect, and let's see what's in here. And we can see that 
uh, it is this is not a direct URL to image file on Cloudflare. That's rather a call to file.php person that ID as a parameter here. So what happens here? How we do we convert that file that PHP call with the ID of our image? How do we convert it to the actual URL? And you can see that this is a image tag, right? So what is happening here right now? So the second part of the code in after application initialized event uh, is if we have post value file, the request for a file and script name is file.php. We also perform our request and we uh, get the actual URL of the file back right here. And what we do here now, we uh, we, uh, there are like, they call it uh, variants and our variant, the one that can be shown to the public is named public right here. You can see it in uh, Cloudflare's dashboard. So we get the URL of the public image and we just redirect there. Uh, we just redirect to that image URL. That's it. This is how it works.